Traffic is flowing once again on the I-35 frontage road on the northeast side. That's after a crash between an 18 wheeler and a train. Our Samuel King joins us now. Sam, these types of crashes cause more than just traffic delays, don't they? And that's right, Stephen Meyer. I-35 in that area is already the, one of the most congested highways in the state when it comes to truck traffic. And any sort of additional delays can impact when goods are delivered or shipped. SAPD says the driver of an 18-wheeler was trying to beat an oncoming train when that train ran into the truck's trailer. Dangerous behavior, to be sure. In this case, the driver wasn't significantly injured. The bigger impact this time was on traffic tied up on the access road for hours, impacting not only whatever cargo was on the truck, but also the stuff stuck in traffic. Nicole Kaskakitis is a researcher with the Texas A&M Transportation Institute. And so when there's a problem, it creates a ripple effect in that part of the supply chain from uh, the good being made to being delivered to the customer, whether it's something that's going to Target or whether it's um, something going to a hospital. More catastrophic incidents can have bigger ripple effects, like the massive tie-ups during the winter freeze in Texas last year or on Interstate 95 in Virginia last week. Some drivers were stuck on the highway for more than 24 hours. The goods don't get where they need to go. Jobs are impacted. The cost of uh, doing business is impacted. There's often fees or fines. Katzka says projects like the one planned on I-35 on the northeast side could help ease congestion by separating truck traffic that's passing through from local traffic. There's also the advent of new technology that connects sensors on roads to trucks and other vehicles. Being able to alert truck drivers before it's too late, help them uh, get safely uh, to an alternative route, um, and to have intel about um, the, the experience on the road. Behind Researchers continue to study the impact of the pandemic on the freight industry and some lessons learned. Trucks are still, by the way, the most way most freight is carried in our country.